Hey guys, Sirzy here. This is my top six tips to staying alive while tanking in Eternum. I hope this helps. And as always, please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay classy. All right, guys. Tip number one. Carnelian gems on both of your weapons. As you can see, I rock sword and shield and warhammer. And you can see that I have both of them slotted with carnelian gems for making my taunts active as well as generating 300% more threat. Why is this important? Well, as a tank, you need to get aggro. Best way to get aggro is through taunts. Tip number two, maximize your taunts. I rock sword and shield, and my first taunt that I have is shield bash. This is a six second, six second taunt to everybody it hits. My second taunt is defender's resolve. This is an eight meter taunt to everything for eight seconds. And then the third taunt that I use is off the Warhammer. It's Shockwave. This is a six second taunt to all enemies that it hits in an AOE. Tip number three, maximizing your consumables. I like to use for basic foods is the hearty meal. This gives me 1% health every two and a half seconds for 40 minutes. For attribute food, it's roasted rabbit. This gives me 40 constitution for 40 minutes. This being the highest attribute bonus you can get from a single consumable. The next consumable is Desert Sunrise. This will give you a reduced reduction in dot damage by 10% for 25 minutes. And then you're going to want to get any coating based on the expedition just to increase your damage output. Tip number four, maximize your resistance through your armor. I would encourage everybody to use heavy armor when beginning. This allows you to block more attacks and take more damage due to having a high physical and elemental resistance. Aiming for 2,000 in each category is my goal. Tip number five, fortifying shield rush. It is your friend. I like to use this in a pinch situation. As you can see, fortifying shield rush gives you fortify, increasing damage absorption on yourself by 33% for six seconds, or depending on the roll, that percentage might vary. But this is save my butt more times than I can count. I would encourage you to get this on any shield that you carry. Tip six. Knowing that your taunts are active, you're going to be looking for a cluster of lightning bolts above the enemy's name. And then you're also going to be looking for a red hue around the enemy's life bar itself. The lightning bolts shows you that your taunt hit the target. The red hue around the enemy's health bar shows that you have active aggro on the target. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are my top six tips to make you a better tank in the turnum. I hope it helps. Please come on over to Twitch TV and watch me tank live. As always, stay classy.